Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Chris and today we're back at the uh, former RAF bolt head. <coughs> Excuse me. Just um, just having a look around to check out that... Um, <coughs> Excuse me. The arrival of um, 611 Squadron uh, back in uh, July... 1944. Now, 611 Squadron were flying the uh, the Mark 9 Spitfire, which you'll uh, see shortly in this video. But I'm um, just taking a quick look at the uh, the layout of uh, RAF Bolt Head, and um, so it was the back in the summer of 1944 that uh, 611 Squadron landed here to uh, to to take out to take up. Um, operations and uh, attacks over into uh, northern France and um, it was on one of these uh, raids that uh, the pilot that we're featuring is uh, was a pilot officer John Clifford who'd been uh, flying in the RAF for six years prior to uh, arriving here in 1944 so a very experienced pilot and um, this particular mission on the uh, 27th of uh, July was to attack some uh, targets in northern France. And the actual mission was due to take place on uh, the 28th of July and uh, Pilot Officer John Clifford had celebrated his, uh, by coincidence, his 28th birthday just the day before. So late on, on the actually on the 28th of July um, the squadron got together they uh, put together um, eight aircraft and they were going to uh, fly across to uh, northern France and uh, hit objects and targets of opportunity uh, whatever they they saw uh, in the way of German vehicles German movements um, they would attack the lorries and transport columns and so on we're just looking down now on the eastern end of the uh, main wartime runway which ran out um, you can see where the hedges uh, are not uh, visible anymore they, the, cliff, the runway ran out almost to the cliff edge and as we span around we can see how close the uh, wartime airdrome was to Salkham Town the houses over there and down below this is um, South Sands just down below and again you can see the runway runs out almost to the last field on the cliff edge so the vicinity of the town was very close so the town was very much affected by enemy aircraft coming over and attacking the town and the airfield and also the noise and uh, activity of the aircraft taking off from RF Bolt Head during wartime they were flying both day and night operations uh, this is a painting of 611 Squadron in action and um, we just come back again now to we're just looking down on the uh, former RF bolt head the runway is running out in those fields there towards the cliff edge and as we span around we're just looking down on the uh, what was the main runway the runway in use today by uh, light aviation is this uh, small grass strip just here um, which is orientated the same, so it's 2911 and again this is just uh, a little light aircraft taking off and you'll see how it heads out uh, in an easterly direction very similar to uh, the direction uh, all the wartime aircraft would have taken back in the day and as I said uh, 611 Squadron were based here from the um, 17th of July and um, it was on the uh, 28th of July early evening that the uh, squadron took off that was uh, the squadron was led by squadron leader William Douglas and uh, there was eight Spitfire Mark 9s altogether which took off from here to uh, fly the uh, uh, best part of 135 miles across open sea to um, to attack uh, targets in uh, Brittany in northern France. This is just looking back down the perimeter track here at uh, RF Bolt Head. 
And as you can see, just uh, in the distance there were where the two blister hangars were, uh, where the Spitfires and uh, aircraft would be taken if they had to do some uh, urgent maintenance work which needed, uh, needed to be done under cover. Quite an exposed position up here on, uh, on Bolt Head and this is uh, one of the blister hangars with a Spitfire uh, uh, in front of the hangar. Uh, it's a very exposed uh, position up here because uh, it's 430 feet above sea level and uh, there's not a much, there's not much uh, protection from the elements. This is a wartime memorial that was uh, placed in uh, Marlborough Parish Church just to uh, dedicated to the airmen that lost their lives flying from RF Bolt Head. And we'll span round again past the old uh, blister hangars, looking down the perimeter track, and uh, looking back around the uh, Esau car park just there in the distance. That was the intersection between the two wartime runways. There was an east-west runway and a northeast southwest runway so it had two two directions and um, we're back with uh, 611 squadron and flying officer john clifford is uh, seated on the on the far right and you can see that um it, this is probably one of the rare pieces of flat ground in the whole of south devon so it was an ideal position to locate a a wartime aerodrome to, uh, for the aircraft to embark on uh, missions across the channel to northern France. This is uh, flying officer John Clifford, uh, although he was a sergeant at the time and then recently, fairly soon after that, promoted to flying officer. Now this is an interesting event that took place in 2009. This is a Mark 9 Spitfire which was uh, converted uh, shortly after active service in World War II. It was converted to a two-seat configuration. Uh, principally, mainly they, it was the Irish Air Force that uh, took on these conversions and converted the uh, Mark 9s to, uh, to a two-seat configuration so that they could carry out training flights. But this particular aircraft uh, flew in to our event in 2009 uh, and did a display. And I hope, uh, hope it just gives you some idea of uh, the performance um, and the beauty of a Mark 9. And of course, uh, Pilot Officer John Clifford and seven of his colleagues took off from uh, RAF Bolt's head in this type of Spitfire to fly across to uh, northern France to uh, attack targets of opportunity. They were often called rhubarb missions where they just literally flew, flew across to the uh, enemy-held part of northern France and to carry out um, opportunist raids on, uh, on anything they saw that might be uh, military, have a military connection to the uh, Germans. Uh, and this, was a, this is a tremendous uh, event here in 2009 when this Spitfire came back because this was the first time that a uh, that the Spitfire had landed, or any wartime aircraft had landed at RAF Bolt Head since 1945. So we were quite privileged to uh, to be able to uh, organise this. And uh, the aircraft, uh, this aircraft, flew in on the Saturday. Um, he actually took a couple of people up for a pleasure flight, uh, which was a, an amazing experience. And then they stayed over on the uh, Saturday night and. Uh, flew their display on the Sunday morning. Now we're just going to move along and have a look at, uh, this is squadron leader William Douglas who was the uh, squadron leader of 611 squadron and he took off on that uh, fateful day on the 28th of July and took this route across to Brittany in northern France with seven other uh, Spitfires including pilot officer John Clifford. It was rather unfortunate that while uh, they were attacking and particularly uh, John Clifford uh, was uh, attacking some German lorries um, and they used to fly in very low and unfortunately he uh, as he was banking around his wingtip just clipped a tree and uh, it caused the aircraft to crash and uh, very sadly he lost his life so after six years service in the RAF uh, very sadly um, John Clifford 
lost its life in northern France on the 28th of uh, July 1944. Uh, he was rescued by the local people and uh, given a burial over there and uh, they are in fact uh, they do in fact keep his grave very well looked after by the local people because they uh, they look upon him as uh, as a hero who who was part of the uh, allied forces that came to uh, save them from the tyranny of being under the german 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 occupation i hope you've enjoyed this film and uh, do stick uh, stick around come back and see another film Wishing you all the best. Cheers for now.